Hello, welcome to my channel Judge All Nations. In this video Christian Prince will make understanding and education about Islam to all Muslims. Also Christian Prince educates Muslims that in the Lord Jesus there is truth and no other. Now let's take a look and see what Christian Prince will tell you by arguing with Muslims. Enjoy watching this video and God bless you. Go ahead, Scar. Are you a Muslim, Scar? No. You are not? No. Okay, so why your hand is up? Yeah, I just have a question. Um, do you have any proof for your religion? What religion is that? I believe in Allah and Muhammad as a prophet. You don't believe in that? Are you not Christian? I'm confused. No, I am. Uh, don't you see my profile? I'm black, blonde, African American from Japan who converted to Islam yesterday. Are you attacking my prophet Muhammad, the child molester? What are you talking about? Are you, are you not Christian? Are you saying you are attacking my prophet Muhammad, the child molester? Can you prove any of that happened? Prove that what happened? Can you prove that he uh, molested a child? Not only he molested, he... Uh, please speak with respect. I, I, feel like, I feel like you are talking with the tone of making mockery of Prophet Muhammad. <coughs> Can you provide proof for anything you're saying? Uh, okay. Well, as long as you are speaking with respect about my Prophet Muhammad, I will provide you no problem. Here we go. This is Aisha. She said that the Prophet, he married her at the age of six and he effed her at the age of nine. Is that true? Are you saying that Aisha was lying? Yeah, is that true for you? I believe Aisha, she was saying the truth. Right, okay, what makes you believe that? Because she was a whore. No, no, no like, uh, what, not about her personality, what makes you believe that? Well, I, How do you I, I, that? I, I, what I notice that hookers are honest sometimes. I think you're dodging the question. I will, are you, this is what your Quran saying, what your book saying. Are you saying to me that's, that the, that's a hadith? Are you that's saying, a hadith. Okay, it's a, you see, you deny first to be a Muslim. Now it's clear that you are a Muslim. You are you are a hypocrite. No, I'm telling you, I'm not a Muslim. You are right. a Muslim. Can you, can you prove anything you you're saying? You said hadith as any Muslim who speak Arabic speak. You said hadith. You did not say just hadith. How you know about hadith? <laughs> so listen. So are so now? What do you think about your prophet? So what do you think about your prophet having sex with a child? Okay, yeah, I'm asking, can you prove that? Are you saying yes or no? Can you prove it? Yes or no? You are asking me to prove that what your prophet wife said is a not is not a, is not a lie. Okay, okay. There's hadith that say Muhammad split the moon. Is that true? Hadith says that. Yeah. Okay. It's not true. Yeah. Is it true? Is it true? Yes or no? I think it's true. Yeah. You think it's true? Yeah. You know, he split the moon. So you're not. You, so you're not Christian. You know, this, he split the moon, but the moon he's talking about is Mona Lisa, maybe. No, no, I think you're playing sarcasm, because... Uh, no, you know, you're saying to me, you are saying to me, you are saying to me, there's a you're hadith, you split the moon. that so, uh, fit uh, your argument, so right? Are you, are, you saying, are you saying that the hadith, this hadith is a lie about splitting the moon? Yep. So, what the Quran is saying then? The Quran says the moon split. Can you, can you prove, can you prove uh, Muhammad was given a miracle outside the Quran? Can you prove? Does the Quran say? Yeah. The can moon? you prove Muhammad was given a miracle outside the Quran? I'm asking you. Can you prove that the moon did not split? The Quran says that. Yeah, Muhammad didn't split it. Muhammad what? Muhammad did not split the moon. Who split the moon? I'm saying Muh What? Who split the moon then? If not Muhammad. Uh. You're, you're asking who? Yeah. Yeah, the the, moon, the the splitting of the moon already occurred in 1969. The splitting of the moon happened in 1969? Let me ask you a question. Okay, uh, on, the moon on, splitting, on. does it have to split the, in half? The, the moon is split in 1969? Correct. Really? Correct. Okay. Uh, is that scientifically accurate? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can check it for yourself. Yeah. That's deep. 
You remember when NASA went to the moon? Ah, they went to the moon. They found the moon spread. Yeah, yeah, they might, yeah, they got rocks. So, so which uh, which part of the moon they they landed on the the right and the right or the one on the left? Or what? Which where they where they landed in the left right of the side of the moon split because split the moon. Split. I already told you. I already told you. Split does not mean split into two pieces. It doesn't have to be as dramatic as you believe. It's not like the movies. No, no. Split you, you just see, means no, it's divided, right? No. It's just divided. That's yeah, it. It doesn't. Okay. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. You're making a fallacy. When you say okay, uh, uh, when you say split, it means split. It's not a crack. It's Bro, not, okay. It, give me the definition of a uh, split. It's in the front of what you. What a split mean? It's in the front of you. This is your most important. When something divides, that that's what a split is. Okay. Right? Divide, so when you bring so back how we moon, can, how we can moon divide, rocks? How we can divide without making them two parts? Divide. Okay. Does it have to be two parts? Yes, because you divide it to two parts. So, says who? That doesn't fall under the definition of split. It's not uh, so, specifically two parts. So okay. So when Allah He split the moon in the Quran by Muhammad. Where did that? Tell me where it happened. Show me where. Chapter 54, verse number one. Chapter 54, verse number one. All right, let's see. So, if the hours has come closer and the moon is split. Uh huh. Where did, is, is Muhammad mentioned here? No. All right, so why are you saying Muhammad split the moon? It's you who mentioned to me, you said the, the Prophet Muhammad when, split the moon. Do you believe it? When did I say that? You asked when me. did I swear? Bro, when did I say that? You said to me that you asked me a bro, question. Bro, you're live streaming. You Stop said to me, me there's a hadith. You're live streaming. You you're live me, streaming. I never said, said that. You said to me there's a hadith that says Prophet Muhammad split the moon. Can yeah, and I'm that? telling you it's not true. I'm telling you it's not true. So, so therefore, I don't so say it. So you're saying lie. to me now that Muhammad, he lied. Okay, can you, are you going to keep changing the subject? Where is Muhammad uh, listed in verse 1? Can you tell me where his okay, name is at? So who is the one who did this here? Uh, can you, you can't answer my question with a question. Is Muhammad in the verse, yes or no, Christian prince? Okay, so you, you don't accept that this is about Muhammad? Yes, it's not about Muhammad. So who is the one who split the moon? Okay, when, you can't answer my question with a question, you understand? No, I'm, I'm not answering the question with a question. Okay, asked, so you I realize already, Muhammad is not I mentioned in the verse. Already, I say it clearly that the verse does not have Muhammad's name. All right, so what makes... Okay. Because you Muslim, right, you say that. You. All of you Muslim, you say Muhammad, he split the moon. Suddenly now Muhammad... Yeah, 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 yeah okay, you, I'm telling you, that's a lie. So. To me, it's you who mentioned to me, there's a hadith. When we say hadith, it's mean Muhammad said the hadith. Okay, can you prove Muhammad said any of that? Can you prove a single hadith? Can you prove a single hadith about what? Yeah, can you prove a single hadith? So you don't believe in the hadith or if it's a lie? So you can't prove a single hadith? How I can prove it to you if you don't believe in it? How I can prove it to you? Get, get, tell me, help me. How if I you can prove it, if you, uh, I mean, uh, if you can prove it, then I'll believe in it. Do you, do you believe, can you prove a single hadith? Do you believe in the Quran? Yeah, I do. So can you prove a single hadith? But the Quran is a hadith. And remember, you said to me, you are the Muslim. Yeah, the Quran is a hadith. The Quran is a hadith. Exactly. But I'm speaking specifically about the hadith. Uh, no, the Bukhari you said to me. Can I, you said to me. Everybody heard you. Can you prove to me a single hadith, guys? Did you say that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Now you're making a fallacy. Quran, I'm a hadith that is a from the Sunnah. Hadith from the Sunnah. The Quran hadith from the is Sunnah. Now you did not say the word Sunnah. You said to me, "Can you prove to me a single?" Okay. Hadith? Now, now I'm re. I'm now I'm rewording it. I'm. I was speaking about the right. hadith. So now that people attribute to Muhammad. So now. Uh, you are saying to me that all the hadith, this is what you are trying to tell me, all the hadith about what the Prophet said is a lie, correct? Buddy, I'm speaking about the hadith that came 250 know, years later. I know, I know, but I'm trying to understand you. When okay, you the Quran did not come 200 years after Muhammad. No, the Quran is not even 20, it's more than 20, 200 years after Muhammad. What? Okay, what is the earliest Quran you have? Bro, can we not divert from the topic? I'm asking no, you to prove a not, single hadith that's attributed to Muhammad. Early, what is the earliest Quran you have? Can you, uh, you're, you're not. You're trying to divert from the no, topic. No, I know you what you're trying to do. Guys, it's you no, 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 listen. It is you who mentioned you're the running time. Away. It is you're running you away. Say the you're Quran. running away. It, running away. It is running you. away. Here we go. Running away. Excuse me, brother. Break an egg. 
break an egg, break an egg. Running away. A Muslim woman, she broke Answer my question. A Muslim woman, she broke Answer my question. To learn how to make an egg. Running away. And the CD. Running away. Uh, the CD Running started. away. Running away. Break an egg. Break running an away. Egg, break an egg. You're running so away. So you're trying to escape the embarrassment. Answer my question. Why are you scared to answer? Hello? You asked me to prove to you the hadith. Wait, is this... Wait, wait, why are you scared, bro? You Can you prove it, a single hand? You said the Quran did not come 200 years after Muhammad. I am asking you, what is the proof of what you say? Can you prove? Okay, are you going to keep diverting from the, the question? It is you who said that. Keep... It is you who said to me, the Quran did not come 200 years like the Hadith after Muhammad. Can you prove to me that the Quran you have today in your hand did not come 200 years after Muhammad? Yeah, I can. Go ahead. I'm, I'm listening. Wait, is that what you're claiming, though? I believe Muslims have never had Quran. Okay, is that what you're claiming, though? No, it's you what Muslims are, are you saying. saying are because, you saying the Quran that because, it come 250 because, years after? Because you Muslims, you claim that the Caliphate Uthman, he burned all the other Quran, which is different from the Quran. So which Quran you have? You say to me, we have the Quran of Uthman. Okay, okay, Christian Prince, can you not divert from the topic? We are I came not, here for a single not, reason and we are not going to divert to because us, you, you lie to me. You lie. You are a liar. You claim that you are <laughs> not a Muslim. You denied your religion. You are Satan. Yeah, I'm not a Muslim. You I'm no, telling you right now, I'm not a Muslim. You said to I'm me, you believe Muslim. in the Quran. Yeah. Everybody heard you. I said to I you. I never said I'm a Muslim. Do believe, Does that make me a Muslim? I said to you, do you believe in the Quran? You said yes, just a minute ago. Yeah, that doesn't make me a Muslim, though. Ah, you believe in the Quran, but you are a Muslim. Yeah. Okay, do you believe Muhammad is a prophet? He, not right now. Not right now? No. Five minutes after? No, no, as in his, his messengership ended. So a dead man can't so, be a prophet. So, a dead doctor so, can't be a so doctor. Are you he saying was, to me Muhammad is a false prophet? No, I'm saying he was a prophet and his prophethood he ended because he is dead. He was is he expired right. now? He's expired? His messengership ended. His message is what? Because he's dead. His messengership ended. Oh, and who is the new messenger for you now? Uh, there's not no messengers alive at the moment. So is the Quran, no is the Quran your book? Sure. Is it my book? Yeah. I don't I didn't make the Quran, I didn't write it. No, no, I'm not saying your book means you wrote it. I'm saying, do you believe in it as your book of guidance? Yeah. So how the message expired if you still have the message? No, no, you can you can believe that the message is here, but you can't. Like, uh, the, 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 the saying that Muhammad is still a prophet is illogical because he's a dead man, and a dead man can't be a prophet anymore. Okay, a if dead we say, lawyer can't so, be a lawyer. So Muhammad is a dead prophet. Is that correct with you? Muhammad is a dead prophet? Muhammad was a prophet and he's dead. Okay. Jesus, according to the Quran, is not dead. So do you follow Jesus or Muhammad now? Do, you mean, do I follow Jesus or Muhammad? With that? Are, you, are you using the F word? No. You did? No, I didn't. I just heard you. I didn't say it. Okay, let me repeat the question. You said Muhammad is dead, so he's, he's expired as a prophet. This doesn't make sense. Well, according to as the Quran, in, no, no, as in, Quran, as in his according, to, according to the Quran, Jesus is not dead. So I'm, you, I'm talking about Muhammad. Why are you being a Jesus into this, bro? What, what, what? You asked, you asked a question about Muhammad, uh -huh. and I'm giving you an answer related to Muhammad. Because you said Muhammad so you is can't, dead. So you can't divert the topic to like you've been you doing. Like, so listen. You said because Muhammad is dead, so it doesn't make sense that he says he is a prophet. He was a prophet. He's dead now. So Jesus, in Islam, he is alive. Do you follow Jesus abandoning Muhammad now? Do I follow Jesus? I follow... Uh, uh, what? Can you, wait, can you restate your question? Well, you say Muhammad is dead. This is why he is, a, as a prophet, expired. So the excuse is Muhammad is dead. So it doesn't make sense to say he is a prophet now because he's not. He's dead. So Jesus is not dead according to your religion. So do you follow where, Jesus? Wait, where, did, where in the Quran does it say Jesus is not dead? So the Quran says Jesus is dead? No, I'm just asking where is he referred to a verse? So you, you do not know what your book is there saying? I'm not. A, I didn't finish the Quran yet. You did not finish the Quran? I finished it. Oh, okay. 
what what part of the Quran you did uh, read? Doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. Okay, according to the Quran, Jesus is alive right now in the heaven. Yeah, so, I'm asking for a verse. <laughs> okay, you have your Quran with you? I have. I can access it. All right. Open chapter th uh, three, verse fifty-five. I don't see anything in this verse that says that he's alive. It doesn't say that he is now in heaven? It literally says, Jesus, I am terminating your life. What are you talking about? But is he in heaven dead now? Raising you to me. Is he in, dead? Is he in heaven dead? Anyone that... Uh, is he in heaven right now? Yeah. Is that what you're asking? Uh-huh. Well, being raised to God doesn't necessarily mean you're in heaven. A raised to God does not mean in heaven. That means Allah in the where in the on Home Depot. I mean, if Jesus died under four, so Allah, then he Allah, would, in, Allah, like in second, yeah, Allah in a building, high building, he took him there. He's not in heaven. What are you talking about? Will he take him to him, which means he is now with Allah? Okay. Okay. Where is Allah now? Is he in heaven or he is in Home Depot? He's outside the seven universes. There's seven universes? Yeah. Where are they, those seven universes? Oh, I'll give you the verse. The Quran said there are seven universes? <laughs> yeah. Seriously? Uh, look at chapter uh, 23, verse 86. It doesn't say in the verse, it says uh, sky, okay. seven skies. Well, can you just go to the verse? Yeah, there's many verses. Yeah, go ahead. Uh huh. Chapter 2, verse number 29, it says there's seven skies. <coughs> and there's seven earth too. And there's seven what? And there's seven earth. It says seven universes. There's seven skies and seven earths. Yeah, I don't take that false interpretation. What interpretation? Just, this, this is what the Quran says. I, I don't. I don't call it skies. I say universe. What? I reject your interpretation of the word. I am not interpreting anything. The Quran says so. Okay, read for me, chapter sixty-five, verse. No, no I don't take. I don't take that. I don't take translations that are not authorized by God. By who? By God. By God? Yeah. Okay, can you read in Arabic? No. So how you can translate your Quran? What are you talking about? God sent a messenger to translate it. Allah sent the messenger to translate. Who is that, Rashad Khalifa? Yeah. Okay, Rashad Khalifa. Ah. Okay, can you read for me Rashad Khalifa translation for 6512? Saying, no God created seven universes and the same number of earths. Uh -huh. The commands flow among them. This is to let you know. This is Rashad Khalifa translation. That God is omnipotent seven and that God is fully aware of all things. Rashad Khalifa says, yeah, I don't call it seven skies. I don't, I don't call I reject that oh, translation okay. that you're doing. Okay. But the word in Arabic is a sky, not universe. Yeah, no, no, no. The English word that you're using, I don't, I don't say skies. Here, it's I in front universe. My friend. Here, it says Samawat. There's no universe. Okay, well, the English word that I'm going to use is universes. Is it up to you? What do you mean? Can you change the mean of the Arabic words in the Quran? God says, uh, hear and obey the messengers. So, the messengers' interpretations, uh, okay. it's not. Guys, when this guy, he joined us, he said he is not a Muslim. Yeah, now, I'm a, I'm a now he said he followed Rashad Khalifa, and Rashad yeah, Khalifa he, is his he wasn't messenger. a Muslim, and he, he said, and he just said Rashad Khalifa is his messenger, correct? Well, he was a messenger. Oh, because now he's dead. Yeah, his messenger ended. So why you accept translation of a dead man? Because God, God left, uh, God tra uh, authorized his translation. If there is any proof that this guy was sent by Allah? <clears throat> uh, are you aware of the mathematical miracle?
Well, none of them is true. Oh, no. What are you talking about? None of them is true. None of them is true. As an it's example, basic math. Okay, hold what are you on. talking about? No, no. If you go, the, the mathematical miracle, the one who he claimed, this idiot, in order to make it happen... Hey, he, don't, hey, don't, don't mock him, bro. I'm going to have to leave you if you do that. I, I'm not mocking him. I'm just describing No, no, don't. Him. No, no. I just, hold if, on. If you, he if you mock he revelations... Said, he said, that's, that verse I'm, number I must one, leave. I mock as I want. That's not up to you. What you can do about it. No, no, I'm letting you know if you do it again. Uh, I don't care. Says, okay, he's a piece of shit. What you okay. can do about it. <laughs> this liar, he claimed that number 19 can be found in all over the Quran, starting from verse number one. But verse number one is 24 letters. 24 letters suddenly they became 19 you see here what you see in front of you I wish I can make it bigger let me see if I can make it bigger but that will okay, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 alright do you see here it says Bism in Arabic there is nothing it's called Bism this is a letter they took off from BSM. So here a letter missing after number one, after the first letter. BSM. Second letters. Do you see the word Allah? You see the letter here in the middle. And it has, I cannot draw, but you, you see my mouse on the screen, right? You can see it. Do you see those little, let me make it more big. Oh no, I cannot even see that. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, we have to go back. All right. Do you see in the top of the, the middle of the word Allah, you see those little, like little sharp knife, you see it? That means here there's two letters. This is an addition to the Quran, added later, long after Muhammad's death, to make the writing easier. So Allah, this is there is no word is Allah as you see now. There is an additional letter there replaced by something we call Shadda. Shadda mean extension, extending. Allah. So the letter L is twice there. Each time you see this, it means there's two letters. By adding Shadda now, we write only one. So if we count that Shadda alone, look what will happen. We have Shadda here. We have Shadda here. You see it? In Ar Rahman. Ar Rahman. Ar -ar like Russia. Olga from Russia. Ar -ar see? And then Ar Rahim. Ar Rahim. Okay. So look what happened. There's Aleph is missing in Bism, which is BSM. There's another Lamb is missing uh, in Allah. This is two letters. There's another Ra is missing. He did not count it. In Ar Rahman, you see it here. This is three. And there's fourth letter in Ar Rahim, as you see. And if you look here, do you see this little dagger in the top here? Is, is, my, is my mouse showing, guys, for you? Do you see the mouse? Is my mouse appear on the screen? Let me see if you can see it. Hold on. You see my mouse? You see it? So here there's a little dagger in the top of the word. This is Alif. This is Alif, letter A. So how many letters now we have? Five. So this guy, his miracle is based on number 19. I got him busted in two seconds. Five letters plus 19 is 24 letters. All his garbage is destroyed. Do you see it? <laughs> Where is the miracle of number 19? 
all what you pose for me, Alif Lam Me, is a lie. All the fabrication he did is a lie. And not only that, in order to make what he said the claim, he played with the numbers, he played with the letters of the Quran, he changed the letter of the Quran, he count as he wish. All the calculation he have is absolutely false. So Sakar, I want to invite you, and you want to, I want you to get me busted. Did I lie when I said there is 24 letters there? Do you want to come to the stage? Did I lie when I showed you in the screen that this verse have 24 letters? And I can do the same to any verses and chapter your false prophet or messenger, Rashad Khalifa, he brought to you. But you don't dare. Because we can calculate what he said. But because you're a donkey, you don't speak Arabic, he can lie to you as much as you want. I am showing the proofs. I'm counting the letters in front of your eyes. I'm not making things up. There is a guy. His name is uh, what? The guy, guys, he, they post his pictures. He saw he saw his chest to Muslim women. He have uh, sex with them online. What's his name? Nu'man Khan, Nu'man Khan. He have tons of videos about this. Show you how there is double letters in the in the Quran. If you don't believe me, go watch him. <laughs> By the way, uh, if there's any Muslim women they like to take my uh, pictures of me without like without shirt. I can send you Bimi Hijab pictures too. I'm going to go tomorrow in front of the Chinese embassy. And I want to protest that the Chinese are mistreating the Muslims in China. I will say to them, Ching Hong Ho He, which means look at my chest hair. And once I was kicked out from the swimming pool, the idiot he said to me, Sir, you can't swim with your clothing. I said, You idiot, this is not. Clothing. This is my fur. So join me, Sakar. Let us count the letters and then we will see that your scumbag, so called prophet, messenger is false. I'm counting them in front of your eyes. Every single this guy he said about the numbers is false. And not only me saying that, even. Oh, hold on. Do you remember Ahmad D. Dot? Ahmad D. Dot, he wrote a book and he made CDs. <laughs> In his book, he quote Rashad Khalifa. Amazing mathematic miracles. Then somebody he got the dot busted. Look what Ahmad the dot is come back said. He said he knew that the, the work of Rashad Khalifa is a fraud, but he used it to convert people to make them believe. This is the dot, the fraud. Been asked by a Muslim. Let us go back first to normal size. Okay, maybe this is fine. Okay. And then we go to YouTube and see Ahmad did that. Yes, brother. You had a question. Yes. This is a booklet of yours, the Quran, the ultimate miracle. Well, I have a cassette of it, or the CNS, or the children's seat. But whenever I try to show it to our uh, mullahs, you know, they don't accept it and they don't believe in it. Uh, could you please uh, 
Uh, there was a book I had written, Al Quran, the Ultimate Miracle. Al Quran, the Ultimate Miracle, brother. It turned to be that the Ultimate Quran Miracle is based on a fraud, and he admit it is a lie. Listen carefully. This is the scam back, back Ahmed Didat. He used the calculation of Rashad Khalifa, which is absolutely false. You can go right now and you will see a ton of Muslim website showing how he is fabricating numbers, not Christian Prince. But this is the scam back Ahmed Didat. He will admit that he used it to convince Muslims and non-Muslims about Islam. And he say, he knew that this theory have a flaw. He have what? Flaw? What what had have there? What the word in English? I had delivered talks on the subject and there were videotapes and cassettes available. But this man who originally made the discovery, which I found useful in talking to Muslims and non-Muslims. I found it useful to take to talk into Muslims and non-Muslims. Useful. What is useful about it? to convince people of Islam to be a miracle. But look what he was saying a second after. But this man, a sickness has developed. Now he's claiming to be a new Rasulullah, like what Baha'u'llah was at one time, and Mirza Ghulam Ahmad. This is a sickness, this is a sickness that is quite common. You see, once a person, you know, he finds that he's so clever, that people are, you know, hero worshiping him. And you know, whatever I say, I know these people will believe. So the man creates a sickness, this man I can make claims. Today, this guy called Rashad Khalifa, he is the man who discovered this theory, Ali Hatisat Asher. Now he said he is a new Rasul, he is a messenger of God. There are certain flaws in the theory. There is certain what? Flaws? A theory? So it's not a miracle? There's a flaws? So you wrote and you add to your book a theory full of flaws asking people to believe in it, you scam back to make money? Rashad <laughs> Khalifa <laughs> so guys and uh, imagine they are asking him he just denied that this guy is any way can be valid and then they said oh, by the way there is a book and CD available go buy it you just said it's a lie it's a theory it is what a theory when we say a theory it's mean it's unproven fact how it's based on mathematics and it's not a proven. Just read the numbers. But then he add, he says, have a flaws, which mean it is full of errors. So how you explain to us, you put it in your book, for he is just looking to sell and to deceive. At that time when he wrote this book, this number 19 was so popular. And the Muslims, they knew that an absolute lie, all of it, they go mute. They don't talk about against it. Until this guy, he said he is a messenger. Sent by Allah. And that broke you know, in Arabic we say is The hair which broke the back of the camel. Like the camel, you put a lot of weight on it. You keep waiting, wait, waiting, wait, and then you put a hair. And then the camel collapse. So, they like this camel lie. They knew it's a lie. They knew what he's saying is a fabrication. They keep their mouth shut and they use his lies. And then when he announced that he is a messenger of Allah, they denied the guy. They washed their hands from him and then they start exposing his lies. And now, if we go and uh, uh, search online, you will find tons of Muslims' website, 
not Christians. Doing study for the numbers of Rashad Khalifa and getting him busted. As an example, not limited. QuranAlIslam.org. This is a very Muslim website. Rashad Khalifa exposed. <laughs> Also, don't miss section 7 of the article Miracle of 19. In this website, which another easy way to expose Rashad Khalifa regarding his claim that 920, 9, chapter 9, 128, 129 are false. And the list goes on. There is tons of Muslims website doing the same. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus, no turning back.